Hello everyone. Um, wait, where are where are you guys? I can't I can't see. You. Where are you guys? Oh, you're there. Hello guys. <laughs> it's me, Sponge Knight, and welcome back to season four of the Modded Survival. <laughs> I'm over here. <laughs> um, in the last episode, it was an absolute banger. Apparently, loads of people watched it, which I'm very proud of. But we got to 100 subscribers, which I'm very happy for. We also um, killed the boss to get the. Um, the shards and I got enough of them now I got enough divine shards and we combined it with stone which I can just uh, make with like water and stuff <laughs> and labor so yeah this is what we're gonna be using to go to the first dimension in the divine in divine RPG I can't speak apparently <laughs> off camera I did do a few things around the house I moved the stairs <laughs> probably something you might not notice but yeah I also added this little bit here and filled it with crates like, I added stuff outside the house. Like, I had to move some things around, so I moved, like, I added this bit here so my horses wouldn't keep going down the stairs. I don't know where they are, but whatever. So yeah, I added this staircase. Looks like they're in here. And the door to the bird, like, room is over here now. And there's also now another exit here. <laughs> I also made a bunch of crafting stations that I'm going to be using to try and um, craft things. I'm trying to figure it out. I don't know what to do actually, but I'll look into the mod and see what I can actually do. It might require some off-camera experimenting. We got likes right there. <laughs> and yeah, Frodo's over here. And well, we're going to go off now to make our pool in the basement. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else to show. Oh, I wanted to show that I made a free a fridge and freezer oh it's just a fridge but <laughs> and i made an oven it's interesting that you can't just make a freezer by itself like why can't i have like a freezer like one block high i guess you can have a chest for it but whatever i mean i'm kind of using barrels they kind of work as well but whatever i suppose is there anything else in it no but yeah i got this in this armor which is um you make it with that's not the right button <laughs> You make it with the eye stones that you can get from Isaacar. I figured it might be a little bit better than diamonds. It actually has one less armor, but I think it should work out still. We should be fine. Anyway, let's build this portal. It works, and if we've got a bunch of... This, this pickaxe is fast. I mean, it does have efficiency 5, so I suppose it makes sense. But yeah, I'm trying to remember if there's anything else I did off camera. I did make a silk touch pickaxe, but that's not really anything to know. I just made one so I can have one in case I need silk touch for whatever reason. Okay, let's put this away. It's right here, by the way. <laughs> anyway, now what we need to do is we need to take our twilight clock. Um, by the way, how you make this is just you just need to get a bunch of clocks. And I believe we just use it like that. And okay, <laughs> that was very sudden. Alright, here we go, to the first dimension of Divine RPG, we finally made it. Only 30 episodes in. <laughs> okay, here we are. And I got a bunch of achievements. Taste the rainbow and enter the Eden dimension. Okay. Well, it looks like we ended out like far away from land. This is like floating island. Oh, I see a house up there. Okie dokie. It actually gave me extra divine rocks, which is interesting. I appreciate it, game. Now, the question is... What can I do? I probably should have got some other blocks. It's fine. We'll get, we got that. I could always replace it anyway. Well, I guess we don't really need a waypoint to see where our portal is, because it's just Friday out in the open. Okay. Let's have a look at these trees. These trees look very familiar. They look like the divine tree in the overworld. Now, I should note, there isn't too much to note with these dimensions. What we need to do in these dimensions, from what I can remember, is we need to kill the mobs or go mining. And get the materials needed for the next dimension. The way the dimensions work is you go you, you go into one dimension, you get the stuff you need for the next dimension. Then you go in that dimension, you get your stuff you need for the next dimension, and so on. And you do that for a while. There are other things we'll get that will allow us to summon bosses, but we'll worry about that later. Okay, that's set a waypoint here, actually. Poor hell, I'm going to have so many poor waypoints. It's even yellow. I didn't even intend that, it just happened to be it. Okay, we've got a bunny. Well, it sure looks like a cute little bunny. Okie dokie. So we're going to go look around, see what we can find. So we've got some of those dudes here. These guys are everywhere, I swear. <laughs> okay, I can see a sun archer over there. Okay, this, this dimension is probably like 50 degrees. What's up there? Okay, we're getting attacked by like, Kittilians. 
Do this. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think we need. Okay. Well, this is how we. This is how we summon the bosses. You need to get a bunch of different souls. I believe we can also turn these into fragments, which we need to like um, make the blocks. I believe. Maybe this is what we need for the next portal. I don't know. We'll we'll figure it out. I'm sure we will. I can always check the wiki out. But yeah, either way, we're gonna do a lot of stuff. Let's kill these sunlight trees who sound like zombies. <laughs> they are not zombies, though. Like. Okay, this is just. Oh, this is like special wood. Okay, do I have an axe in hand? I probably do somewhere. I've got a parrot egg somehow. Would this summon the vanilla Minecraft parrot actually? Hang on. It does not. Where did I even get this from anyway? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I guess this, this parrot can just chill here for the rest of its days. Anyway, we'll grab an axe. I want to grab some of this wood. Oops. <laughs> I didn't mine it correctly. Okay. Ooh. I got some experience bottles. Thank you. <laughs> I guess if we do a level up, what we can do is we can throw this on ourselves. And level us up, up again. So, yeah, we're gonna have loads of levels. I probably could have done that a bit better, but it's fine. Let's grab more skin in that archery. We're almost maxed out on archery. Okay, let's see if this drops any sapling. It would be cool to have this, like, get taken out. Actually, you know what I could do? I could use my pickaxe. It'll give me more chance of giving and getting a sapling because it has fortune on it. Okay, never mind. Okay. I keep thinking these are friendly, they're not. Hello? Why well, you guys have such big shadows? Okay, we're gonna have a cotillion over here. Ah, you cotillion. <laughs> we do so much damage now. I was fighting like mobs off camera and I realized I do up to 60 damage. Like, we are so strong. <laughs> oh, they, they, these um, have um, nests. That's that's how I got, that's probably how I got the, the egg. <laughs> Okay, let's take this dude out. He's gonna have to fear my elite archery skills. <laughs> okay, twilight stone, cool. It's not twilight forest though. Are we getting attacked by a whatever? Let's break this egg. I mean this nest. <laughs> Oops. Wait, what the hell? Oh you can look inside the um, nest. I didn't realise you could do this. <laughs> okay, give me those. Why are there swan eggs in trees? <laughs> this seems like the last place you would put in swan eggs. Whatever, I suppose. I'm getting shot at here. Did I get any saplings? I didn't, wasn't really looking. Okay, I did. Yeah, we're getting shot over from down there. Let's go inside here and investigate. A chest of nothing. Yay. Sorry, my life. This always happens to me. I don't know why. <laughs> it looks like a very cool chest, though. Can I take this? This would be a good decoration for home. I don't think it will let me. Okay, whatever. I'll take the torch, though. Just in case it has any use. You never know. It does not. It's just a very fancy looking torch. <laughs> okay, hello. <laughs> oh, one cool thing about this armor set is it slows nearby mobs. <laughs> Namely hostile mobs, but yeah. Which is pretty useful, honestly. It means I can't get snuck up on. I probably still will be. <laughs> at all. Okay. Let's make our way over there. I don't think there's too many structures into these dimensions, but I could be mistaken. My only reference to these mods is watching, like, Popular MMO play it in, like, Effort of Fortune Season 1. But I was in 1.4, so... We're playing in 1.12 now. Things could have changed easily. Okay, we've got a fragment. Yeah, honestly, it looks like the best way to get the stuff is to probably just kill the Candillions because they're just plentiful and they're easy to kill. Oh, don't get me wrong, they're not exactly weak. What's over there? Just getting surrounded by all the mobs now. <laughs> now block your attack. Okay. Ugh. Okay. Oh my god, I'm getting attacked by all the zombies. Half me. You know, it's funny, I bought a flamethrower with me, we should probably use it. <laughs> yeah! By fire, be purged! <laughs> okay. That was fun. 
Glad I bought my flamethrower today. <laughs> okay, I need to try and get get away from these monsters like so I can sort my inventory quickly. Okay. Do some do some third person action. How's this armor anyway? Seems uh, all right. It's actually pretty decent by the looks of it. Has some decent durability. Yeah, we're getting attacked by more of these dudes, but I got a flamethrower, so they're not gonna get anywhere near me. I say as they shoot me. Pick this. Run out of flamethrower fuel. Oh my god. Ugh, I'll shoot this dude. Make good use of our archery skill. So much inventory management. <laughs> don't worry, I'm gonna cut out most of the inventory management so you guys don't have to worry, but still, I'm getting attacked like horribly here. How do I get out of here? I'm guessing we could probably glide away. Okay, we'll go this way. What was that? Hello? Oh, okay. Hello. Do I have my sniper rifle in hand? I do. Okay. Let's get sniping. Okay, take this. I'm trying to think of a way to get this guy closer. Okay. Let's try and get this dude to come over here. He's kind of just flying away. It's like a ghast. <laughs> That's kind of what it reminds me of, only it's obviously a lot smaller than the ghast. I'm not sure how I'll lure it. Okay, let's move away. Maybe he'll. Maybe I can lure him over here. Come over here. Okay, dokie. Let's see if he dropped anything. Well, if he did, it probably fell off. No, my luck. <laughs> this is reminding me of the Aether. This dimension. <laughs> it's got that vibe to it. Especially with the floating islands. Only obviously it isn't the Aether, but it kind of is. Ow. You might knock me off. You get knocked off. Okay, let's go over there. I want to try and kill that. Okay, I can see a dude up there. Let's just sort of figure out quickly. I got loads of inventory, I suppose, so I should be fine. I got extra bags anyway. Ow. No, I fell off. Ah! I'm just shooting from down there as I'm falling to my death. Uh, it's okay, I can just teleport back up here anyway. <laughs> I don't know, it seems like it's a bit of a cheat, but... <laughs> I'd rather just... I'm, I'm gonna die either way, so... I might as well get back up here quicker anyway. Saves me time having to not edit anything out anyway. I can just get straight back into it. <laughs> Okay, let's go down there. I guess we should just kill the mobs. I mean, they seem to be everywhere. <laughs> and they give good yields on their loot, so we'll just kill them. I mean, we're going to have to kill them anyway, so we might as well. Okay. Oh, these have got loads of levels in this. Okay. Again, loads of experience. These guys are worth a lot. I guess because they have a lot of health, though. But even though they have a lot of health, we have a lot of damage. Okay, come over here, you. You Tomo. Okay, dokie. I took out the Tomo. I don't know what that, that actually is, but whatever. <laughs> I don't think it really matters. <laughs> okay, let's try and get over there. Let's get a little bit higher. Huh. We'll glide across here. We'll take this dude out. Okay, but as you can see, our stuff is really good. We're really prepared for this place. We're probably prepared for a, quite a while anyway. Oops, I, I don't know where direction now. I say that now, but I think the mobs do get a lot of health at some point. I think they get to like the thousands of health, especially the bosses. So we may be strong right now, but that's just because we're prepared. It's like we're not going to be prepared once we get to like the big league stuff, even with the stuff from these mods. Like I think some of the dimensions get pretty difficult, but hey, at least for now, we're actually going to survive. Our armor is holding up pretty well. We're doing lots of damage. We have the most possible health we can have. We're very powerful and very confident. <laughs> Let's grab my gravity gun. I'm gonna grab this ore and mine it. Okie dokie. Okay, looks like this is affected by fortune, so if we mine it with our bedrock pickaxe, we should be good. Okay, hey you, come down here. Fight me. Seriously, what are you doing? Do you, not, do you want to fight me? Okay then. I can't believe it, he didn't want to fight me. Well, I wanted to have a proper fight with him. It's okay, I'm sure we'll find better Condidians to fight. <laughs> it's okay. I don't know why I'm toying with the mobs. I can just murder them. It takes very little effort to do so. Okay, let's climb up this hill. 
I guess we'll just keep looking around for these mobs. We'll block attacks from this dude. And he's so bad at shooting. I keep thinking there's zombies nearby, but it's him. He's the zombie. Hello? Oh, we're getting this up from up there. Huh. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think I did enchant this as well. Yeah, I put power on it so it would do a little bit more damage. Oh, hi. Get out of here, you. Leave the poor bunnies alone. I think you can tame them from what I remember. I don't know if I will, but... Maybe. <laughs> we'll see, I guess. Okay, where are you? Come here. I have the high ground. I'm falling down now to the low ground. It's alright though. Okie dokie. Ooh, there's a dude over here. Or oh, a <laughs> I'm just going straight for the mobs. I mean, hey, it's engaging content. I get to murder everything I see. Because <laughs> that's engaging content. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, you know, that's great content. Honestly, this place might be a good place to just get experience as well. Because these mobs are just full of it. I think it's because they have a lot of health. And the way one of the perks that you can get with the level up mod is, works is you get a lot of experience. It's depending on the amount of health the mobs have. So when fighting these mobs with tons of health, it just we just make bank. We just get so many experience levels. Even if they don't drop a lot of experience themselves, we're going to get a lot from them. Okay, increase. So we just need eight more levels and we'll have that maxed out. I don't know what to get next. I suppose we can... I suppose I can have a look through the level up mods and just see what else there is. I guess we can increase our movement speed. There is a perk for that. <laughs> I love that mod. The level up mod is so much fun. There's so many useful perks. Okay. Die. I don't know why these Cantillions are evil. I mean, these guys seem to spawn pretty frequently. I see another one of those dudes in the air. Those mini ghasts. Okay, they're not ghasts. I got my sniper out already. Hmm. It's interesting that the Tech Guns mod puts your shield away, but the Gravity Gun mod, you, you have to put your shield away to even use the Gravity Gun, which I understand, but like, it's weird. <laughs> like, I'm surprised they didn't do the same thing and just put your shield away. I feel like previous mods did it a bit, the previous versions did it a bit better because you could just have like Battle Gear or something. <laughs> I don't know, it's up to interpretation though. Ooh, there's a bunch of mobs over here. I think I'm all out. Ooh, I'm flying. Yeah, I want to get some third person combat here. We don't get enough third person combat if you're not using my shield. I mean, I can't see, but you know, I can tell that they're dying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, my character's eyes are a bit too high. I think um, if we were using like a normal skin it would work, but I made this skin and I guess I just put the eyes a little bit too high. It's fine though. I like how the skin looks. <laughs> Even if my character's face looks odd. We look amazing anyway. <laughs> we look ridiculous. Like, look at this. We look like an absolute, like... If you if you ran into me like on a mod, on like a modded server, you'll be fucking running away. Like PvP realms. Ooh, I'm flying. Unfortunately, I don't take forward damage. Okay, I'm just getting thrown around here. Die, you. Hello. Okay, you know, we'll have a longer episode this episode. I feel like we haven't had too many long episodes. Oh, I'm drowning. I'm drowning. Help. Okay, well, I think I killed all these things that were making me drown. Okay, we need another bag. Okay. But yeah, like I said, I got loads of bags, so I should be fine. <laughs> I w I've, I'm prepared, don't worry. I got torches, I've got bags, I've got everything I need. Okay, let me kill this mob and we'll do a split recording. We'll go for extra long, just to have a thank you for you guys for like subscribing and such. You guys deserve a slightly longer episode. You can always watch it in parts if you don't, if you really need to. Anyway, split recording. Okay. Let's continue. I, I actually stopped to have um, food IRL, so this is actually 20 minutes late. Well, not 20 minutes late, it's actually half an hour later, but nonetheless, it's been a while. <laughs> I make it sound like it's been years. It's been 24 years. It's actually still the same day, though. It's been so long. <laughs> What's over there? Ooh, I see a structure. Let's go towards that. <laughs> I see a bunch of this structure actually. Let's see what this is. Is this going to be like a boss? I mean, there's a spawner here. So maybe. 
Okay. Sandstorm spawner. Okay. Is it gonna spawn in then? I'm I'm here. Hello. <laughs> Is there something I need to do? I'm like looking around a bit more. <laughs> you never know, there might be something else around. I can see some uh, uh, something. Someone over there it says soldier though. What am I doing? Let's shoot this dude. Huh. Got him. Okay. I'm guessing nothing's spawning from this right now. Okay, dokie. Let's try and jump over here. I want to grab this experience. Oh, that runs me. We need to grab a bunch of levels. <laughs> Start walking towards the final level in that. Okay. Take that. Take this. Okay. See what we know? We just got enough levels already. <laughs> Ow, I just got struck by lightning. Okay. I made the bunnies angry some somehow. Run! Yeah, they get angry as well if you fight them, so... <laughs> I wasn't trying to attack them, they kind of just got angry. Okay. Take this. And this, and this. Okay. Give me that. <laughs> getting lots of experience. I suppose they wouldn't be a terrible way of getting all the stuff as well. I didn't mean to do that, but it's okay. We can use this bag as well. Getting some really good stuff. Let's go down here. Oh, I just got thrown over here. Whatever, fine with me. I can just dance. <laughs> Wah! Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll just swing our sword crazily. Okay, okay. Add, add. And where is it? And now we're maxed out. I guess we could also grab stealth. What does this do? Okay. I got some stealth fake perk basically. Stealth based perks. I can't I can't speak apparently, but whatever. I don't know if I'll go that route, but it would be a good way of fighting, I suppose. We just sneak up on the mobs like a rogue to a degree. <laughs> it's okay, we'll we'll stick with what we got. I'll probably just level up um sprinting. Or we can keep our levels for like later use. Either way. <laughs> we'll work. Okay. Is there any more monsters around? Any more mobs to kill? Okay, there's one up here. Take this gun dead again. Okay, this gear is actually is pretty good. <laughs> Glad I made it. <laughs> it's coming in really handy considering how durable it is. Okay, let's go over here. I just got flown in the air, but that's okay. I like t toads. Like frogs, not toads from like Mario. <laughs> Okay, I'm getting attacked by two people here. Okay. Like that. And that. And this. I'm killing all the zombies. Also, I don't know what noise portrayed them in the back of my room. Hopefully nothing falls over. I remember last time, or not last time, but like a while ago, I was just like playing and uh, one of like, like some of my games fell over. <laughs> okay. Let's try up there maybe. Let's glide on over. <laughs> Some weird stuff going on here. We need to do a lot of killing anyway, but we can still do a bit of exploring. Yeah, what's this? This is just an egg. Okay, oops, I fell down here. I didn't make that jump. Maybe if I go first person. I think there's someone shooting me from below. Yeah, hello. <laughs> I'll just ignore them, they're not really. A big deal. Is this like special dirt low? Yeah, there's a special dirt. Cool. I haven't I've seen too much special dirt. Well, I say that. We've been to the Aether. I think the Aether has its own like dirt and such. But there's something else here. It's the knife it. <laughs> <laughs> what was the noise that I just make? <laughs> I was trying to go <laughs> like um, the dude from Futurama, but I just made a different noise. <laughs> Oh man, I got problems. Okay. It's not like the dude from Little Brain. Don't do that up, but <laughs> trust me, it's, it was great. It was also very weird. Oh man, I'm stuck. We just have to make our way out of here. Surprisingly, I can see you well under the ground. Who would have thought? I thought it would be very dark, which is why I got torches. Okay, we're now surfaced. 
<laughs> kind of surfaced. Uh, we should be all good to send down there. But yeah, I guess we will have to look to see what blocks we need specifically off camera. But um, we'll figure it out when we get there. We'll start by this damn Chaos Emerald. Anyway, <laughs> me saying that makes me want to play Sh Sh Shadow of the Hedgehog. Shadow of the Hedgehog. Or Shadow of the Hedge Lord. I have it on the Xbox. And you can play it on 360, funny enough. It works pretty well for a 360 game. I don't know if these spawners are meant to do anything. Maybe it's for a boss. I'll look into this. Everything is relatively unknown to me. I should know, by the way, once we're done with this dimension, we're gonna I'm gonna do something else. Um, Sidetrack, and we're gonna do one of the Advent of Ascension dimensions. We're gonna try and make the, our way to the first one. I think they're easier to get to than the Divine RPG ones, but not 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 easily as you may think. Like, it's easier, but not easy. I think we have a lot to do. You don't have to kill any bosses, like. At least I don't think you have to. You just have to do the right things, I believe, and then you can go. Okay, just move these cotillions. We're just killing kill all the mobs. Get off me, you, you monsters! Okay, add a bunch of levels. And what we can do is we can grab this. This will make us run that little bit quicker as I get attacked from behind. So yeah, now we can run faster. We're gonna move so quickly. We're gonna be the Shadow of Edge Lord. <laughs> or the Flash. I mean, that works for me. Die. <laughs> I love how ridiculous we <laughs> look as we like swing low. It's amazing, but it's just ridiculous at the same time. We just look so stupid because of all the armor we have on. Like, look. Woo! <laughs> it kind of makes me think of Link low. Ugh. Like from Zelda. Not that I've played too many 3D Zelda games. It just makes me think of them. <laughs> of him. <laughs> of Link. <laughs> all I can think of though is the funny things you can name Link. Because you can name Link whatever you want. There's no nothing saying you have to name him Link. Because the game tells you to enter your name, so you can name your character yourself if you really wanted to. In fact, that's what I did when I first played the game, because I didn't really know that the main character was called Link. I think one of the names I named him was Lich. But yeah, <laughs> my favourite name for him is Lank. What the hell is that? That's like special cobblestone. Okay, there's a chest in here. I didn't mean to put that in there. These chests are like empty, what's going on in there? Someone's stealing my treasure. Uh oh, lag. Okay. We find a lot of these spawners. They're a lot more common. <laughs> well, whatever. I need a spawner. I'll just put this here. Spawners for something. I don't know what that's for yet, but we'll figure it out. I'm sure I will. <laughs> Probably for sandstorms. <laughs> I'm just glad to be in these dimensions. Honestly, it's pretty cool. Oh, there's something else over here. I didn't mean to find this. I just happened to run into this. What is it, though? What is it? <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna block your attack. <laughs> Come over here! Fight me on the high ground! I want to make sure I get your loot. Because I have loot in... Okay. These, are, these mobs are also gonna be good for, like, hunting, though, I suppose. Oops. I dropped my weapon by accident. I was trying to press O so I could see my like statuses on like the sides. Hi, <laughs> you foul creatures. Okay, well it finally stopped raining. I was kind of enjoying the rain actually. Well, not really. What even is this? Is this just a way to get a lantern? I'm so confused. <laughs> I have so many questions. <laughs> okay, we'll go for five more minutes and I'll call the episode, so we'll just kill a few more mobs. As I hear like dogs bark. It's summer now, so I got the window open. If I didn't have it open, I would actually just heal up because my room is very insulated. I just kind of just... <laughs> It'll get too hot. <laughs> Not in a good way. Okie dokie. So it's, um, I can handle it a little bit. My PC seems to be fine after all. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm these dudes. Take that. 
The point of damage did him, but it was 60 damage. I also put the um, Aftershock enchantment on this, which mm, gives you a chance to do even more damage. That's why I'm doing 60 damage, because it, it, it just every now and then I just do double damage. And considering I have a chance to crit and do extra damage anyway, I just end up doing loads of it. What the hell is that? Is that a portal? Is this meant to be like a portal? It's like a ruined portal. Hello? Is this Divine Rock? It seems very odd. Okay, cool. Not really anything I can do with this. If I had like um, the Twilight Forest installed, maybe I could like use an iron crafting table and get loads of the shards out of this. Because you can use it to make armor as well. In fact, you can use it to make some of the, the best armor, which is funny. So if I really wanted to do that, then I could. I'm getting attacked from behind. Oi! 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 How dare you assault me? I was trying to sit, fix my inventory and talk to the viewers. Of course, we don't have Twilight Forest. Okay, now we're gonna move even quickly. I don't feel like I'm moving any faster, but maybe we are. I don't know. I just feel like I move quickly anyway, because we can we can just glide. I mean, this is this is really fast moving. Look at look at me go. <laughs> maybe this is just a way to get loads of divine rocks low. These weird portals. I don't know what this is like. <laughs> oh, I see ores. Okay, let's go first person so we can mine. Let's grab all of it. I'm getting loads of these souls. Their souls are mine. <laughs> it's like World of Warcraft. But yeah, we're almost at the end of this episode. I'm just going to kill these enemies and I'm going to... Yeah, call the episode, I guess. I need to find a good place to get me a thumbnail. This whole place is a good place to get a thumbnail to be like. Because it's new. Or new-ish, anyway. It's new relatively. If you haven't played the mod, it's going to be new to you. Almost... And that's the end of the episode. Um, what happened at this point actually is OBS crashed. So um, you lost some footage of me basically going up the hill here. Don't worry, I've nothing. There, there's nothing you really missed anyway. I figured I might as well just end off here. There's not really a lot I can do about it unless I re-record the whole thing. And I don't really feel like doing that. But yeah, thanks so much for getting me to 100 subscribers so I can do this extra long episode. I hope you guys don't mind that it ended this way. We'll, we'll come back to um the vine RPG anyway next time we still got a lot to do as i've found out off camera actually before editing this video and even while editing it anyway i hope you guys enjoyed low remember leave a like subscribe our next subscriber special will be at 200 subscribers so let's get started towards that and yeah until next time though boop